Now y'all listen up. I got something to say and I want y'all to take it to heart. You see, life ain't always easy. We all got struggles. We all got pain. But let me tell you one thing. God will always make a way. When you feel like you're in the darkest pit, when you think ain't no light going to shine on you again, remember, God's got your back. He ain't never going to leave you. No matter how hard it gets, he's going to make a way for you to rise above it all. You may be wondering, how can I be sure? How can I trust that God's going to make a way? Well, I'll tell you. The good Lord works in mysterious ways, and sometimes we can't see the path he's laid out for us. But trust in him, have faith, and you'll find that way. The Bible says in Isaiah 43, verse 19, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. He's telling us right there that no matter how dry and barren your life may feel, he's going to bring you water to quench your thirst, and he's going to make a way for you to get through it all. Now, I know some of y'all might be thinking that's all fine and dandy, but what about when I'm facing those big and difficult problems, those mountains that seem too high to climb? Let me tell you about a story from the Bible. You remember Moses and the Israelites, right? They were standing on the edge of the Red Sea with Pharaoh's army closing in behind them. They had nowhere to go, no way to escape. But God, oh, God made a way. He parted the Red Sea and they walked right through on dry land. Now, if he can do that, don't you think he can make a way for you? Life's a journey, and sometimes it's going to take you down some rough roads. You might get knocked down, and you might feel like giving up. But you got to remember who's on your side, who's walking that journey with you. It's God. And he's going to make a way for you to get back up, dust yourself off, and keep on moving. You see, God's love is something fierce. It's a love that ain't never going to quit on you, no matter how hard it gets. John 3, verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now that's some powerful love right there. And with that love, God's gonna make a way for you to overcome whatever comes your way. But you gotta be willing to take that first step. You gotta have faith and trust that God's gonna be there to guide you, to help you, to make that way for you. And when you do, when you put your trust in him, you'll find that the path becomes clearer that the obstacles ain't as big as they seemed. So when life's got you down, when it feels like the whole world's against you, don't you give up, don't you lose hope. Remember that God's always going to make a way and he's going to be there to help you every step of the way. Keep your eyes on the prize and keep your heart focused on the good Lord above. Know that he's got a plan for you, a plan to prosper you and not to harm you, a plan to give you hope in a future. That's what it says in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, and you best believe it's true. Now, I want you to think about those times when you've seen God make a way in your life. Maybe it was when you thought all hope was lost, and then out of nowhere, a solution appeared. Or maybe it was when you were walking through the valley of the shadow of death, and God brought you to the other side safe and sound. Those moments, they're a testament to his love, his power, and his promise to always make a way. But you got to do your part, too. You can't just sit back and wait for God to make a way. You got to walk with him hand in hand, trusting in his guidance. You got to put in the work, put your faith into action, and be the kind of person God knows you can be. And when you do that, when you work together with God, ain't nothing going to stand in your way. You'll find that the mountains start to crumble, the storms start to pass, and the sun starts to shine on your face once again. So hold your head up high and keep on pushing forward. Know that God's got your back, and he's going to see you through to the other side. And as you walk with him, remember to give thanks, to praise his name for all the good things he's done in your life. Let your gratitude be a light that shines for all to see, a light that shows the world just how good God is. And when you start to see those changes, when you start to see God making a way for you, don't keep it to yourself. Share your testimony with others. Let them know just how powerful, how merciful, and how loving our God is. Let your story be a beacon of hope for those who are still walking through the darkness, helping them to see that there's a way out, that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. So as you go forth, remember this. No matter what life throws your way, no matter how tough it gets, God will always make a way. He's going to be there for you, guiding you, strengthening you, and uplifting you every step of the way. Trust in him, have faith in his promises, and know that you are never alone. Now go on out there and face the world, knowing that with God by your side, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Be a force for good, a light in the darkness, and a testament to the power of God's love. And always remember, God will always make a way. 
And as you walk this journey, know that God's grace is sufficient for you. His power is made perfect in your weakness. So when you stumble and fall, don't be discouraged. Instead, lean on him and let his strength carry you through. You may face challenges that seem insurmountable, but let me tell you something. With God, all things are possible. When you feel like you've hit a dead end, when you can't see a way out, just remember that God is working behind the scenes, orchestrating things in your favor. You may not see it now, but in due time, he'll reveal the path he's prepared for you. So be patient, my friend. Trust in God's timing and know that he's working everything out for your good. Romans 8 verse 28 says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. That means you, you're called, and God's gonna make sure that everything you go through will lead you to something greater, something more beautiful than you could ever imagine. But you gotta be strong and you gotta be courageous. You can't let fear hold you back, because fear ain't from God. The Bible tells us in 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, for God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So shake off that fear and step out in faith, knowing that God's got your back. And while you're at it, don't forget to lift others up too. Be a light to those around you, showing them the love and grace that God's shown you. Help them to see that there's a way out of their struggles, a way to overcome their pain. And that way is through the love and power of our almighty God. So when you see someone in need, don't hesitate. Extend a hand, offer a shoulder, and share the love of God with them. You never know what kind of impact your kindness and encouragement can have on someone's life. You might just be the spark they need to start believing in themselves and trusting in God to make a way for them too. In conclusion, let me remind you once more, God will always make a way. No matter how tough life gets, no matter how lost you may feel, his love and his guidance will always be there to help you navigate through the storm. So keep your faith strong, Keep your eyes on him and know that you are never alone. Now go and be a light to the world, spreading the good news of God's love and his promise to always make a way. And as you do, you'll find that not only will your life be transformed, but you'll be an instrument of change in the lives of others as well. So go forth with courage and faith and let the world see the power of God working through you. Now let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you today humbly and with open hearts, knowing that you are the way maker, the miracle worker, and the light in the darkness. We thank you, Lord, for your unfailing love, your unwavering grace, and your endless mercy. Lord, we ask that you strengthen our faith, that you help us to trust in your promises, even when we can't see the way forward. Remind us, O oh God, that you are always with us, guiding us and protecting us from the storms of life. Help us to find solace and comfort in your loving embrace, even when it feels like the world is crashing down around us. Father, we lift up those who are struggling right now, those who feel lost and alone, those who are facing insurmountable challenges. We ask that you wrap your loving arms around them, providing them with the comfort and strength they need to persevere. Show them, O oh God, that you are their refuge and fortress, that there is nothing too difficult for you. We pray, Lord, that you open our eyes to see the ways in which you are making a way for us, even when it seems impossible. Help us to recognize your hand at work in our lives and to give you the praise and glory for all the good things you have done and continue to do. Father, we ask that you empower us to be a light in this world, to shine your love and grace onto those who are struggling. Help us to be compassionate and understanding, to lift up our brothers and sisters in their times of need. May we be a reflection of your love and a testament to your goodness. We thank you, Lord, for the way you have made and continue to make in our lives. We ask that you continue to guide us, protect us, and shower us with your blessings as we walk this journey of faith. We trust in your promises, O oh God, and we know that you will always make a way. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.